What's up YouTube? Happy New Year's everybody. I'm going to be going over my reef tank today, my 56 gallon reef tank. I just got home from a 9 hour shift. It's late. I've been busy the last few months, really busy with work and school. I'm in college, so it's tough, but um, I do find some time for my tanks. I got 12 fish tanks at home. Um, most of them are I got for free from my grandfather. But yeah, it's a lot of work, but um, I try to find time to record because uh, I like to watch my tanks in the future, see how they've changed. And I know I have a small channel, but I appreciate the people who like to watch it too. And I like to answer the questions too if people need help or give people advice or feedback. So I'm always willing to help people. But um, I'm just going to go over my setup because I haven't made a video doing that in a long time and a lot has changed. So first off, I've got a Sunsun Sun 304B canister filter. It's dark, but it's under here. That's the canister. I got a lot of good media in there. Some PhosphoGuard, some Purigen, some Matrix. So I'm removing nitrates um, and phosphates, which is always good in a reef tank, especially if it's pretty stuffed like mine and you got a lot of nitrate and phosphate in the water. You gotta keep that really low for some of the corals, especially SPS. Um, but that definitely helps. I, I don't have a really expensive canister filter, but I got some good media in there. I got carbon too, some pads. I got a lot of stuff in there, but it does a good job. I test my water regularly and everything's pretty good. Um, here's my light. It's a cheap 165 watt Wills aquarium light and it was mounted to a Kessel uh, mount with some screws and drills and it's not supposed to go attached to that obviously but my grandfather helped me with that he's really handy so we did that and I didn't have to hang this wheeled light from the ceiling instead I got it on a castle now so that's pretty cool um, this is uh, I, the skimmer is new I've only had it about a month um, it's really helped my tank it keeps it clean I noticed the corals look a lot better with it, it keeps the water clean I run it 24-7 it's a Reef Octopus 90 hang on back skimmer. It's a cheap skimmer and it's an old one, but it really does a good job. Um, you can see the collecting cup right there. It's about a third full. I mean, for a cheap uh, hang on back skimmer for under $200, it really does a good job. I like it. Um, no complaints, really. It's, I'd give it an A. Um, so that covers that. And then I've just got a cheap Sun Sun Wave Maker. I know it's dark, so it's kind of hard to see. Um, that's a reflection of the glass, but here it is. It's in the top there. And then I just got a heater. And I keep it 77 in here. Just so you know. And I got all my rocks, obviously, on the back of the tank. Um, and I'll go over my fish stock and then the corals uh, that I went over the setup. So for fish, I'll start with the cleanup crew first, which technically isn't fish. I've got a bunch of hermit crabs in here I have no idea how many and a bunch of different kinds of snails I got a Mexican turbo I think I might have another one a bunch of astrias and some nirite or nerite I'm not sure what they're called but those snails and they really do a good job with algae I seldom have to scrub algae in here I mean they really do a good job maybe once a week I get some of that calcium off the glass and algae and I, when I say it's on there it's just a little bit I mean they really do a good job you got a lot of them um, I have a shrimp in here. I have a fire shrimp. It's kind of hiding, but, um, you can't, I could see it in person, but you can't really pick it up on here. You could just see the, with the little antenna, what do you call them? I can't think of the name now. Antennas, whiskers, whatever you call those things. Um, whatever it feels like. I can't think of it right now, but I got one of those. I got rid of all three of my peppermint shrimp in here because they ate my $200 brain coral. So I had that beautiful Wells Ophelia, if any of you saw my previous videos. It was arguably my favorite coral in the entire tank. And it was dying and I couldn't figure out why. I was testing my water, everything was pretty good. I thought I was bleaching it, I moved it. I turned the lighting really low, it still started dying. And then one night I found the peppermint shrimp eating it at three in the morning. And I found out that it died because they ate it. So I scooped them all out and they're gone and they're never gonna be back in this tank again. So. I brought them back to the fish store that I work at. Um, so that's my shrimp. I, I, I already talked about the cleanup crew. I've got a mandarin goby right here. Um, I'll switch to the whites in a little bit, but 
Um, the Mandarin Gobi only eats copa pods now, so it's very expensive to feed. I spend about $30 a month on food because copa pods are expensive. And for me, they're hard to get. I don't really have any convenient place to get them. The only place I could get them, they're expensive. And I've tried live brine and frozen, and he does not eat it. Hopefully someday he will. Otherwise, he's probably going to have to go. So, um, And then I got the yellow tang here. I've got two clownfish, an absolute zero one. That's a pretty rare one. And then a chocolate domino, which isn't that rare. Um, and then I've got 12 green chromis, one Bengay cardinal, which is right here, and then one royal grama. And that's all my fish. And this tank is pretty full. I don't want any more fish. If anything, I'd probably get rid of some because I don't want to really have to keep doing as many water changes as I do because it's pretty full with all the ever since I added those chromis I almost feel like that was a mistake there's a lot of waste being produced in this tank and to feed these guys um, it's not that big of a tank it's only 56 gallons so they make a lot of waste but that's my stock it does look cool though the tank is nice and full I do do um, water changes pretty often I take out five gallons um, three to four times a week and then I run the skimmer 24-7 and nitrates are pretty low. They're about 15 parts per million, which isn't that bad for an LPS tank. Obviously, I'd like to get them lower, closer to like 5, but um, for me, that's not something I can do right now. Um, so that covers the fish. Um, as far as corals, um, I've got a green star polyp, a uh, bird's nest. I had the names written down for some of these, but I can't remember them off the top of my head. I have them saved, though. I want to say Astriopora or Cyphastria is the name for this one. I forget. Um, I've got some kind of mushroom right here. I've got a green Australian hammer. I've got some Rasta Zoas. i got a bird's nest right here, another one. i got an Aussie gold torch. Some Xenia. Some really nice neon green uh, candy cane or trumpet corals. This is an Indo torch that I didn't pick up, but I gave my cousin money to pick up, and I think I really overpaid for this. I wouldn't have paid over two. I paid two hundred bucks for this, and it looks like garbage in my opinion. But I don't know. Maybe someday it'll be something nice. Uh, I got some fully orange blastos right here. Pretty rare blasto. I was told it was rare. Um, a mushroom here, common coral. Uh, green frog spawn with purple tips. Uh, orange scalemia and two, three actually, really beautiful Akins. And this one right here is missing a head because, two heads actually, because the peppermint shrimp ate them. So that's also part of the reason I got rid of them. And then I have a really nice, beautiful Indo torch that this one was only $100. I got it at a frag swap versus I gave someone $200 to pick up this Indo torch for me, and I thought it would be a lot nicer than this because. This one is a hundred bucks and it's about seven times the size of this one and that one looks a lot nicer so yeah and then I've got my rainbow bubble tip anemone up here arguably my favorite thing in the tank it's absolutely gorgeous um, I love it and then finally I've got a gorgonium up here and then I just wanted to showcase the white lights for a little bit Here's that, just so you could see the fish a little better. Yeah. Um, I like this tank. It's still got some work. I would like to try some Acropora on the rocks, just to add some corals on the rocks, but I'm not sure if they'll make it in here. I might bleach them. There might be too much light. And um, they do like very low nitrate and phosphates. And mine aren't high, but they, for Acropora, they might be a little high. And I don't have much room on the bottom, but I would like to add a brain coral if possible. Just one more really nice piece on the bottom. Uh, something that's like a real masterpiece, I guess. Um, I really like this tank. It looks really good in my opinion. I've still got a lot of work to do. I'm still going to make some changes, add some corals for sure. Um, I'm not sure if I'm in love with the rock work. Um, and I'm not sure if this coral placement is final. I'm sure I'll be moving stuff around. But I really like this tank. Um, I'm proud of how it's come along. And it looks better and better every day. And 
I can't wait to see what it's going to become. And I just really enjoy it every day when I get home from school or work. I love coming down in my basement and looking at this tank. I just think it's really cool. I love the hobby. And it's just like my own piece of the ocean. There's the man. And I love it. There's the fire shirt. And there's the yellow tank. He likes to zip in and out of the rocks. Alright, well the fish are hungry. I'm going to feed them some live brine shrimp and some seaweed now. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, leave them down below. I'll try to answer them. And I'll update you guys soon as I get more corals and make some progress. Thanks for watching.